Hello, my name is Martin Schranz. I'm a radiologist working in University Hospital Kerry. I also teach uh, medical students radiology. I created um, a few animations using LOTI files and um, just to teach them teaching some aspects of radiology to medical students. And from there, I, I uh, decided to use this technique to create a physics learning application for the leaving cert. And I'm going to explain why and how I did that. So um, I work with a very small team of, of three and um, we work with LOTI files. So this is what a, a LOTI file would look like. It's just a file with data in it data would consist of a, a key and a value so um, the all the all the features of the animation are actually incorporated in this animation so you get you have all the factors that would say move an object or you have all the effects of gravity or a spring all the physics effects these are all incorporated in the same file and um, just using data and this makes it very lightweight and it makes it easy for the file to be transmitted through through um, and streamed down to a variety of apps such as an android phone or an iphone or the web this is the uh, application um, in practice it's a screenshot from my phone you can see that the application is pulling questions depending on the on the topic and it pulls questions from the database um, in real time through an API, downloads them onto the phone and downloads the LOTI file and renders the LOTI file on the go. Not only can you run the animation in real time, the animation itself being data can be programmed. So you can program the animation to run faster or quicker, you could change all the numbers in it, the annotations, you could um, get the student himself to, to change anything in the animation, to move the animation, or say if it's a circuit, electrical circuit, you could uh, open a gate or close a gate, whatever, whatever you can uh, imagine you can do. Um, now we did um, also create an exam format so that uh, in the future if say you, you, you want to add badges or or um, uh, micro credits for what you're doing you could add that uh, also tags to the question so that the student can for example enter gravity and then that would pull only those questions related to that topic um, of gravity um, we first started using this technique to create uh, animations for our radiology application for medical students. And for example, this application shows um, the effect of, of uh, bleeding in the brain. But then we moved quickly to create more complex animations that were more interactive, such as this animation where the user can slide uh, an x-ray box over um, a, a body and to see the result in the x-ray underneath it. So now suddenly the animations are interactive, no longer um, are they played from beginning to end, but you could um, start and finish at any point in time. These animations are very lightweight. They don't require much loading time. And um, the whole LOTI files format is open source and fully programmable. The LOTI files website has a dashboard and you can upload your um, animations uh, for public use. We did that. We uploaded hundreds of files. And um, in fact, we were the top contributor through the skills of Joanna Barrera. We were the top contributor to LOTI files in 2020. These are some examples of the files we uploaded. Um, this is a um, turbine um, uh, generator 
this is solar energy creating electricity and this is how X-rays are formed by sending electrons in a tube towards a target. As, um, as far as the coding, um, we use the Flutter framework, which works with Dart. Um, its advantage is that it's a single code base, so you can use a single uh, script to write to multiple devices. And it's also native, so it, 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 it's rendered to machine code and it runs very uh, smoothly and reliably on all devices. We built a builder so that the tutor could log in and add his own questions. He could add um, image files to his question. He can add media. Um, for example, you know, YouTube videos or lucky files. He could add math formula, chemical formula, and of course he could tag his questions so it can be found. Um, there's a preview option so the uh, tutor can play back his animation and also can add sound uh, through text-to-speech engine called Poly, which is on Amazon. So we use uh, that text-to-speech engine to create a sound background to the animation file. We have a dashboard that monitors all the data on the application. Um, so at a glance, you can see how many are using the application uh, on the on the fly. Um, we could also see how the apps are doing. We've got four apps at the moment, but we hope to add more in leaving cert. Um, we have the questions um, dashboard. We can look at the users. Um, we have can look at the various exams. And we can open and start a webinar directly through the dashboard. And this opens it through Zoom, uh, Zoom's API, which is very handy. Um, we have various voices in the poly text to speech um, database. Um, and um, that makes it, um, you could even uh, translate the text to French or German or whatever on the fly. Now, the um, the before I end, I'd like to show this animation. Um, this is one of the animations we use in our physics leaving cert questions, uh, created by Joanna. And the question was, um, well, at which year was it first proposed that the it is the Earth that goes around the sun, rather the sun going around the Earth? Um, and the answer is actually 1514. Um, it was a Polish priest who came up with this. And uh, unfortunately, he only published it on his deathbed uh, 30 years later because he was afraid that he'd be executed. So I'm sure he was considered at the time as a wizard or a magician um, coming up with these fancy ideas. But... Um, uh, just looking at these animations and the code that I've seen from my team, I think the wizards of today are the software uh, engineers and the animators um, and uh, the amazing uh, work that Joanna and Steve and Jason have done to create this application. I am very grateful for and they are available. If you want to ask them anything, they're available on this conference call. Um, and I would like to end with the conclusion, which is that um, data-driven uh, animations are programmable and they can help in creating applications for e-learning. And this is more so with the advent of machine learning, where obviously you need um, uh, key value pairs more than anything to create um, uh, to help in your machine learning so i hope you enjoyed the talk and we are always available uh, for discussion um, i want to emphasize these applications are all free and will always be free and they're free for use for any tutor as is the old code uh, and images on the on the application